Well, thank you very much, Bob. Dr. Bob Goldman has been a big supporter of the sport of bodybuilding and the fitness for many, many years. Ever since I have known this guy, he has been out there promoting health and fitness and has helped bodybuilders. And he has extraordinary knowledge in this profession, in this business. And uh, so we want to say thank you for having this award ceremony every year here. And uh, we want to say thank you uh, to Franco Colombo, to Archie Griffin, and to Earl De Pearl Monroe, and also to Bruno Sammartino and uh, Blaine Wilson uh, for you know, receiving this award. Of course, my personal relationship you know, with Franco has been you know, really extraordinary. He has been my best friend uh, since 1965, since we met for the first time in Stuttgart, Germany when I won the Junior Mr. Europe competition and he won the powerlifting championships in the lightweight division. And uh, ever since then, we have formed this friendship and we're training partners together, worked on construction sites together, we went to school together, traveled around the world together, did movies together. Um, so there's been a great, great relationship. So Franco, it's obviously for me such a great pleasure to watch you receive this award here today. So let's give him again a big, big hand for <laughs> What Franco didn't want to mention is, is that he's now the head of the Chiropractors Association in California. And uh, this is uh, really to be the leader of all the chiropractors in the state. California is the eighth largest economy in the world. It's a big state. So, Franco, congratulations. And you didn't get that position because I was governor. You got that after I was out of the governor's office. So, you did that on your own. So I just want to make sure that people know that uh, he, has been, he, has been, he, has been, he has been an extraordinary doctor for so many patients and you know, in thousands and thousands of patients. So it's really great to see him get this medal. Also Bruno Sabatino, who I've had a personal relationship with uh, uh, for many years because I was a big admirer of his extraordinary strength. Uh, he was, uh, you know, professional wrestling was always for me something to watch, and I was, in, I always admired the strong man as a kid already. And then when I moved to Munich, I was hanging out with the professional wrestlers, and then when I uh, and trained with them, and then when I, I uh, came to the United States and competed in the Mr. Olympia competition, uh, Bruno Sabatino was one of the judges, and uh, so it was really great to see uh, such an authority sitting there as one of the judges. He was one of the head judges, and um, and I told him then how much I admired watching him at Madison Square Garden, in which he wrestled you know, for decades, and uh, he was for so many years the best and the number one wrestler and the highest paid wrestler. But to watch him actually lift up guys that weighed 400 pounds, apparently he lifted up someone that was over 600 pounds. I wasn't there when he did that, uh, but I saw him lifting guys that were 400 pounds. But it was not a trick lift where a certain kind of momentum was coming into play and it just you know, moved the guy to the top. I saw him grabbing a guy slowly, whipping his legs and on his shoulder, and then slowly lifting him up over his head, 400 pounds. I mean, that means that if it would have been a weight, an Olympic bar, something like this, he could have lifted over 500 pounds, could have beaten the world record. That's how strong he was. He had the most unbelievable strength in his legs, and in his hip, in his back, and in his shoulders. I mean, the, the way he did this lift, it was just so extraordinary, and I just would never forget that. So, you know, and he always was a great inspiration to so many others. Because he always talked about training, about working out, about fitness. And this is what it's all about. And this is what is so great about all the recipients here. They all have been a great inspiration. It's not just about themselves. First, you're in there for yourself. But then the key thing is, what do you do with this fame? How do you use that to go out and to promote and to, to inspire other kids? And that's what each and every one of them has done. And so I want to say thank you, all of you. Congratulations. You all are great, great athletes. And you're making such a great contribution. Thank you very much. Thank you, Bob. Thank you.